And joining us tonight, our political expert, Gabe Sanchez, again, to break down the mayoral race tonight. And Gabe, tonight we saw Mayor Keller easily win a second term. He didn't have the easiest first term. We still have high unemployment. We're about to set another record for murders in our mm -hmm. city. But that didn't seem to resonate with voters. How come? Yeah, it was a pretty comfortable victory for Mayor Keller. I was saying 55% all week. Ended up maybe even being a little bit north of there. And I think at the end of the day, you're asking voters, who do you trust for the next four years of your life in the city of Albuquerque? I think at the end of the day, voters looked at the candidates and said, I trust Mayor Keller with those four years. I think as much as Mayor Keller did well, especially given the context that you noted, it was also the fact that I don't think Sheriff Gonzalez really got out of his own way, to be honest. That campaign never really got started, and consequently, it, it really didn't land with the, the kind of commanding, at least competition, that we thought it would. And the sheriff spent a lot of time in court battling, uh, trying to get campaign financing, public financing. Had he gotten that public money, would things have been different? Would he have been a top contender? I think that campaign is going to look back at it and say, look, we proved we could raise money privately. We probably could have actually raised more money than Keller if we did not go into public financing. And he would not have had the debacle of trying to deal with the ethics issues after that. And then really in desperation time, laying out mm -hmm. the mudslinging personal attacks. I think that's going to be the memory of Sheriff Gonzalez from this race. Yeah, it got really ugly. Yes, it did. Gabe, what did the next four years look like? You know, that's the multi-million dollar question. To be honest, we haven't had great second terms in mayors or governors in recent memory in New Mexico. Will Keller be an exception to that rule? He's got a lot of challenges. I think voters are gonna expect public safety to be number one, more police on the streets. And the thing to keep note of is a progressive candidate like Keller needs time for all of his policies to take effect because he's dealing with deep-rooted underlying issues. Will four years be enough? I think that's the multi-million dollar question. Gabe, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you for joining Thanks us tonight. Thanks for having me.